All right, guys, let's get right into this. So in the past, I made a video on the PS Remote Play. Now, if you want to see that video, then click the link on the screen in the top right to be able to go see that video. But before you do that, I've summarized my last video into five simple, easy steps at the end of this video. Now, click this timestamp right here to go to that section if you want to just get that over with. But this video is all about my likes and dislikes on the new update that PS Remote that ps remote play has put in i've done this way too many times to restart i'm not restarting so we're just gonna go with the flow if you do not already have the ps remote play software downloaded to your pc or laptop then go to google type in ps remote play the download should pop up then you go to the first link it gives you scroll down if you have a ps5 already great click on the first link if you do not and you have a PS4, click on the first link on the PS4, scroll down and it will show a download button. So after installing the software onto the computer or laptop that you have, the first thing you will see is this. Now it's a controller with a connection thing to it, it has a button for the PS. If you already have linked your console to the software, then this is what you will see. But if you haven't, I'm pretty sure it will, it will have a link manually thing. You click on the on the um, option to where you link it and it basically gives you a four digit code from your ps4 that you would have to go to the settings it, it tells you the steps on the um, software right here it has like on the top of it and it gives you like directions on where to go to where to find that code after you found that code you enter it into the software here or the option of where it gives you and it basically your console is linked if you already linked it this is what you would see so it's you know, as you can see from the past it's really new i like how it looks um over here to the left the icon on the settings it basically shows you your playstation network you can either be signed in with your ps plus account on here it will uh, it will show your ps plus thing right here the yellow ps plus but like icon but if you choose to use your main account with the software while you're signed into here then you would have to use the usb on the remote on the controller so if you do not then as you know the cheat secret that everyone should know already if you don't then you should click the link at the beginning of the video but you're gonna see it anyways after the video so so after that there's a tab where it says video quality for remote, remote play has resolutions and the frame rates this is where you set your resolution and frame rate. And then this is just the uh, information tab. So basically the things that I like about this is that they updated finally. It's great. I like it. I like how they updated it. The, the connections are better than it was before. Even if you're running just straight off a of Wi-Fi and you don't have any ethernet cables, but having ethernet cables is a really big boost to having this um, software because it helps so much. So at the bottom left, you get a controller icon and it says use a wireless controller for PS5 or PS4, connect your controller and PC with the USB cable. This is the thing I dislike. It misleads you, sort of, not really. But it, to me, I, I think it misleads you. Um, basically what it's saying, just like if you would like get your brand new ps4 and you can you know how you connect your controller to the console and then basically boom your controller is wirelessly connected basically it's saying you can do that with the pc but you can't i've tried it and it doesn't work so the old method works fine it still works so you can do the old method but the usb cable if you connected the controller in the past in the last update when you move the controller left and right it was like behind by like half a second but now it's on point it works just fine with the usb cable so there is no lag issues or anything like that so now we are in the ps4 remote play so how to connect your controller as always you would have to hit the ps button right here and then it'll bring you to this screen so basically if you want to do it wirelessly you would select the your account of the ps plus because right now we're on this one we're going to select this one to play online wirelessly on the controller but if you already have your main account um signed into the ps remote play then i would stick to your main account but you would have to use a usb cable so basically we're going to click on this one and after that basically it's going to 
it says you cannot control the system now but if you hit any button you want it basically tells you to switch to your screen press the PS button that's another feature I like about this it tells you to punch the PS button last time it didn't tell you to punch the PS button you just have to figure it out yourself so now it tells you and it basically brings you to your main account so that's an awesome feature I like about that that's, that's the best feature I like about it um, anyways that's like the end of this video um, thank you guys for watching like and subscribe as you've seen on the screen or as you see at the top right we're almost at 60 subscribers 40 more and we get to 100 that would be a blessing to me if I got 100 so share this to your friends your family members that have PS4 and they like to stream or you know make videos or just play games on a better faster monitors or you know faster TVs then shoot this video right to them anyways i am getting off this because i it's it's taken me like more than an hour to make this so i'm i'm leaving goodbye all right step one create a new user this is going to be your dummy account step two download install and open the software step three sign in with your dummy account go to the settings icon Sign into your dummy account that you just created. Set the video quality remote play to either 720p standard or standard frame rate if you are connected to your PS4 with Wi-Fi. But if you, if you have an Ethernet cable, put it to high. You'll be fine. Step four: Make sure you are logged into your PS4 with your dummy account and then connect your remote play to your PS4. After connecting to the PS4. Hit the PS button. Go to your PS Plus account. Click the X button. And step five, which is the final step, hit the PS button again. And it also tells you to hit the PS button. So that's a really cool factor to this feature. And now you're connected wirelessly. No USB cable to the remote controller and it works just fine. Make sure to like and subscribe, share this to your friends and family members. Peace out. Go to the top. <sighs> Click the link in the top right of the screen. Click the link top right of the screen click the link in the top right of the screen click the link in the top right of the screen is that hard no why can I say it I don't know then click the link that I'm gonna put up in the top now click if you want to see that video then click the link in the top right of the video if... all right let's get right into this so in the past, I made a video about the PS. Christ. Connect your PS remote play to your PS4. The fuck? How the hell do y'all talk to a camera, dude? This is so hard. Uh, I can talk when I play video games, but I can't talk when I'm staring at a lens.